Hi, everybody. It's Don Nguyen and Rich Marco from Be Safe. Good afternoon. Um, in this presentation, we're going to be talking about the user profile management, and Richard is going to demonstrate how we can utilize the BeSafe user profile module uh, to not only maintain user profile all from within a GUI, but to utilize this module to maintain users across your enterprise, meaning if you have upwards of 30 LPARs or 40 LPARs, you can maintain your users from within one location. Now, the thing about user profile module, user profile management is that, you know, depending on who you talk to and which research, um, which survey you look at, it's costing us all between $50 and $70 every time we have to maintain a user ID. Um, so it's, it's becoming very costly. Um, so with that, I want to go ahead and hand it over to Richard, and he's going to demonstrate how we can set it all up to uh, maintain users across the enterprise. Thank you, Don. Uh, the screen here is the user profile management uh, screen. This is where you'd be able to maintain uh, your attributes for your user profiles. Uh, in this presentation, we're going to concentrate on the replication of user profiles. So the tab here, you're, uh, you get into the replication feature. Uh, and at this point, clicking on the copy user profile, I'm able to pick uh, a user profile that I want to replicate to a remote system or system group. Okay, That is set up through our management module over here, uh, which we have covered in a previous uh, presentation. Uh, so clicking on Buffy here, uh, click Next, uh, I'm then able to select from the list of systems or system groups in this example, I'm going to choose this one system. Click Next uh, is the setup screen. Finish. Uh, you see it's in process. Uh, this takes a couple of seconds to replicate that user profile. Uh, you see replication succeeded uh, right here. Uh, close that down. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump to that system uh, and get into the user profile module. Uh, you see here, Buffy is not displayed. Uh, we do need to do a refresh, uh, and then Buffy has been added. So clicking on that ID, I have all the attributes that came from the other system. That's very good there, Richard. Um, I noticed that you replicated to one system. Uh, however, I understand that you can select up to is there a limit on the number of L parts you can replicate to, Richard? No, no, not at all. Uh, anything that's set up within the management module, uh, you would be able to replicate to. So this is a unlimited list here. And that's great. And then there's a history of everything that's uh, been run in terms of a replication as well. Correct, right here. Right, and that's figure. great. Yep. Sorry about that. That that will be really good for auditors because they're going to want to know, you know, where users are going, when replications were done, and not only that, it's helpful for the system administrator as well to have the history there. Correct. Right. Uh, well, um, you know, this is going to be a fairly short presentation, and pretty much we've reached the end of it. Um, however, Richard, thank you, thank you for doing such a great job of demonstrating the replication. You're welcome. Um, you know, I, I, I do go ahead and want to end it here. Uh, I would like to thank you all for listening. And for those of you that would like more information regarding, uh, you know, be safe, please give us a call. Uh, with that, I want to thank you all for listening and uh, wish you all a great day. Have thank a great you. day.